Are you new to Windows 8 and you're not quite sure where to go to get new apps and programs for Windows 8? This is Paul, one of the techs here at Micro Center, and today we're going to show you how to get to the Windows Applet Store and what to expect when you get there. Let's get started. Okay, to get started, we want to go ahead and open up the, uh, the App Store that comes in Windows 8. Go ahead and click on Store. Now that we're in the, the Windows App Store, we should probably establish what an app is. Uh, the word app is short for application. It refers to a software application or a program. And an App Store is a cheaper, more efficient way of uh, distributing and deploying software. Let's go ahead and pull back so we can look at the categories. There are several categories of apps available in Windows 8. There are 20. So let's just go ahead and take a look at what they are. We've got Games, Social, entertainment, photo, music and video, sports, books and reference, news and weather, health and fitness, food and dining, lifestyle, shopping, travel, finance, productivity, tools, security, business, education, and government. So, like I said, there's an awful lot to choose from here. So we're going to go up, go back to Spotlight, which is the first category you see, which is basically going to show you some of the newer newer apps. Uh, you'll notice when you enter the store, each category has top free and new releases. Top free is going to be the top free apps to that category. As you can see, there's, there's a lot here new releases each category is going to have a new releases section which is going to show the new releases for that particular category and the first view you look at is going to say update this will tell you if you have any updates from any software that's installed from the store uh, so to install it you just click on it and then click install and it'll go ahead and update for you all right, so let's go ahead and take a look at that app buying process. Uh, you'll notice that apps are generally cheaper than off-the-shelf software, uh, more than likely because there's less uh, overhead and distribution costs. Uh, many apps are free. I haven't seen any more than $9.99, but it's possible that there are because there are an awful lot out there, and I could certainly be wrong on that price. You'll notice there's no search button there's no search box to type into because just like out on the desktop to search you just start typing what you're looking for so I'm gonna type Angry Birds alright as you see this is given us a lot of a lot of results from putting in Angry Birds and let me just give you an example on how to buy an app um, as you can see for Angry Birds space and for many of the uh, apps in the store you have a choice of buy or try, which is basically a trial. If you do the trial, it's it's um, probably going to have an ad that pops up every now and then, uh, either asking you to get the full version or just an advertisement in general. But let's go ahead and click on buy. First, it's going to ask you to confirm that you want to buy. Go ahead and click that again. Now, you do need a Microsoft account to buy any app from the Windows Store. So, yeah, and actually to, to really get the best experience with Windows 8, you want to go ahead and set up a Microsoft account anyway, because it's, gonna, it's something that's going to come up um, in various applications. Uh, not necessarily in order to pay for things, but just it, it's just a way that Windows gathers all your information together. So to sign up for a Microsoft account, you want to go ahead and click here, sign up for a Microsoft account. That will take you out to their website, and they will walk you through that process. All right, and that's our little overview of the Windows Store. If you have any other questions, come visit us at www.microcentertech.com.